Okay, welcome back to Sharp Down Under. I'm Doug, it's Monday. I'm late. Let's get into it. It's going to be basic today. Going to revisit the small farm uh, shaving soap. It's uh, birchwood. That's the scent. 100%. Smells absolutely magnificent. If you love your woody scents, if you're not owning this, you're poor. Trust me. Um, just going to roll it out. Go back with this for the after shave, and going with the Lord Platinum again, the super stainless that I used on Friday. Okay, let's crack on in. Okay, so nice little lather in the synthetic knot on the old Ever Ready. <clears throat> I've only used this once. It's taken me ages to get back to it. Just dry this handle off on this brush. I remember at the time, it was just such a great smelling soap, really good lather. Look at that, it's just still lathering up in the brush. That'll do. As I said, run away. So hope you all had a good weekend. My weekend was pretty good. Finally got the display cabinets up. Haven't filled them up yet. I'll put a little, some small things in there, but not the main collection. So it's looking good. <clears throat> My partner's pretty happy about it. She's getting room back, reclaiming the lounge. The lounge room. The dining room, I should say, really. More than the lounge. So hopefully I'll have that filled up in the next couple of days. And then I'll do a couple of um, collection tour videos. Which I know a lot of you are uh, looking forward to seeing. I've had a few requests. And I've, I've actually, I've had a lot of requests either on my channel or just in the community. So I'll do a video of it and then Later down the track, I'll do another. Because <clears throat> so, so I've got a box coming from England, so that's going to be, that's a month away.
and my friend went to post those boxes to me, I think last Friday, and Australia's still not accepting parcels or larger parcels. which I don't understand why. I think I'm gonna to have to look into that today. From my end, from Australia, hit them up and say, what's going on, why not? Yeah, we're coming into Christmas. Be lots of family and friends sending sending packages between Australia and America. I don't know whether this just been a a breakdown of communication along the way, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna look into it. So, seagulls drew on the weekend, drew to Newcastle. We were extremely lucky not to lose. Late in the game, uh, Goalie committed a professional free kick or a professional penalty that saved a certain goal when you are just caught way outside the box. So he, we, he tripped him over, their, their player over. He, he was just gonna waltz into an open goal. So he, he took a red card and got sent off for that. We played like the last nine minutes, ten minutes of the game with our captain in the goals. And we were lucky they only had about one real foray into the goals. And that was probably the last couple of kicks of the game. So that's the reason why there's no shirt. I'm glad we took the point. Yeah, it was bad. We played excellent in the first half and got one nil up. And then we just got scrappy in the second half. It wasn't good. So no bugles and trumpets and horns and things getting blown today. Wolverhampton lost to the Palace. How could you lose to those mongrels? And Carl Spurs just eked out a nil all draw with Everton. That would have been a 
frustrating, frustrating game to watch, I'd imagine. All right, very nice. Must say, this um, Chrome Super Stainless, by Lord, is a little bit better than I uh, initially judged it. <coughs> Pardon me. But when it comes to blades, Everyone's got an opinion, and and every opinion about blade suitability and its ability is nothing more than an opinion. Because every blade reacts differently to different faces, to different skin types, different whiskers. I know most of you that follow my channel understand that, but just with a few people who are probably a little bit newer to wet shaving. What works really good on me may not work good on you. So that's why you've got to appreciate those little eBay shops that sell multiple packs of um, blades so you can get in there and test them out for cheap. So I've got this new technique I'm working out on my neck here. So Started first pass down, second pass up. Third pass, I just go across here, and then I start going into an arrowhead um, uh, pattern. It's probably the best way to describe it. And it um, seems to be working out all right. The couple of times I've tried it before, so. And that bottom part of the neck is a pretty tough. Seems a bit of a problem for the average fella. Okay, 
I'll just clean up. Etsy. I'll put links. It's a goat's milk soap. Smells wonderful. Really creamy lather. It's the bee's knees. As I said, if you really like woody scents, you can't go wrong with that one. It was just, just it's magnificent. Okay, let's throw a little bit of this on. I like this because, uh, you know, last week was the first time I used it. And the scent is just very light. So it's not going to interfere with any cologne that you may wear. Especially if you've got a bit of a date night coming up. The other thing I liked about this is it does go on oily but dries off. And I think most of us appreciate that. So kept on. You ready? No. No. It wants to pull down a towel so I can lay on it. All right, I reckon you are what you wear. Don't worry, this is as far as the nudity goes. So if you are what you wear, <laughs> looks like I'm fucking fabulous. I was gifted this on the weekend from my beautiful partner. We bought one each, or she did. So let's check it out. Now we've got to get going. This stuff does smell <laughs> fucking fabulous. <laughs> But it's fucking expensive. Look, if you cashed up, buy some of this. But if you're not, don't, because it's expensive. And I'm not going to go into how expensive it is. I was very spoiled, trust me. So it's a, um, it's based on one of his classic leather scents. So that's the um. The, the, the base of it that they work from it's um, coming under a warm spicy and it's warm with uh, sweet gourmands however you pronounce that I say it it's gourmands so your key notes here are leather tonka bean and sage and there's also armoured and iris in it and oh, it, it smells great <laughs> whether you, uh, you think it's um value for money that's a that's a debate that will go forever but it does smell excellent okay people i hope you had a really good weekend as i said i reckon i'll start next monday with um my collection tour thinking i'll do the bottom half first and then the following week do all the top half so i'm i'm, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of stuff in there that you're going to really like and appreciate. Okay, people, I've got to get running. I'm just late, 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 late. Um, Wednesday unboxing, we'll see you there. And no idea what I'm doing. Oh, yes, Friday shave is on Thursday because of the 11th of the 11th. So I've got um, a bit of a um, idea theme for that one. Obviously, it's military. Okay, people. Let's go. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Please hit the like button and comment if you've got something to say. I'll listen. I'll reply. Okay, people. Take care. Have a great week. We'll see you on Wednesday. Ciao for now.